In this video, we're going to look at finding the equation of perpendicular lines. You may recall that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Using this, we can quickly find the slope of the line we want, and once we know the slope and a point, we can use the formula y equals mx plus b to solve for b, or the y-intercept. So, for example, we're asked to find the line perpendicular to y equals 5x plus 1 that goes through the point negative 5, 2. If you recall that y equals mx plus b, we can quickly see that m, the slope of this perpendicular line, is 5, or as a fraction, 5 over 1. Our line, though, is going to be perpendicular, which means our line has to be the opposite reciprocal. The opposite of positive 5 over 1 is negative, and the reciprocal is 1 fifth. So for our line, we're going to use the point negative 5, 2, and the perpendicular slope of negative 1 fifth. Notice I really didn't care what the y-intercept was on the perpendicular line. All we cared about was the slope, because ours is the opposite reciprocal slope. So if y equals mx plus b, and we've got an xy point and a slope of negative 1 fifth, we can plug that information into this equation to find b, or the y-intercept. So y is 2 equals m, the slope of negative 1 fifth, times x, which is negative 5, plus b, which is what we're looking for. The 5's divide out, which is really nice. Also, a negative times a negative is a positive, so we have 2 equals 1 plus b. Subtract 1 from both sides, and we see 1 is equal to b, or 1 is the y-intercept. Which means our final equation, y equals mx plus b for any generic point x and y, make sure we use the correct m, the perpendicular negative 1 fifth, and the b we found of 1 to find out that y is equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 1. This is the equation that is perpendicular to y equals 5x minus 1, and it goes through the point 5 comma 2. Let's try another example, an example where we're asked to find the equation of the line perpendicular to 3x plus 2y equals 5, and also is going to go through the point negative 3 comma 4. This one, you notice, is not in intercept form. To find the slope, we need to get into intercept form by isolating the y. We've done this before. We start by moving the x's to the other side, subtracting 3x. This gives us 2y equals negative 3x plus 5. We like to put the x term first. Divide by 2, and when we do, we have to divide everybody by 2, distribute that division through, and we get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 5 halves. Now it's an intercept form, like y equals mx plus b, which means now we can quickly find the slope of our perpendicular line to be negative 3 halves. Again, we don't care about the b, really. All we care about is the slope. Because if this line has a slope of negative 3 halves, we should be able to find the slope of our perpendicular line, which should be the opposite reciprocal. This one's negative, so the opposite is going to be a positive slope, and the reciprocal is 2 thirds. So we want the equation of the line with the slope of 2 thirds going through negative 3 as an x and negative 4 as a y. To find the y-intercept, we plug that information into y equals mx plus b. y is negative 4, equals m 2 thirds times x, which is negative 3, plus the b. We'll 
3 divides that with negative 3, leaving negative 1 behind. This gives us negative 4 equals 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus b. Add the 2 to both sides. This gives me negative 2 equals b. We now have our b and the slope. Make sure you use the correct slope. Plug it into y equals mx plus b. y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. And this then is the equation of the line perpendicular to 3x plus 2y equals 5. And it goes through the point negative 3, negative 4.